your life, build your career, save some money, buy yourself a vehicle or something, and don't study about those things yet. The next thing you know, the boyfriend got them and they don't even marry, they shack up, and they get two, three children, and then their life is tied up. Our listening church, listen, you cannot take love over counter in the shop. Can you take that? Can you go to a shop and say, look, I bring this all this love, I'm presenting it to you, give me a bag of groceries. Are you listening today? If somebody say they love you, let them love themselves by providing for themselves first. You know, as a Christian person, I believe if somebody say that to you, you need to come and see a pastor. And if the pastor said no, you should obey the man of God. Because the man of God is the under shepherd to lead you and guide you into a better life. Are you listening? And God will bless your marriage for that. Are you listening, church? Then, not only plan, pray over your work and plan your work, but then you need to work your plan. You need to work at it. Are you listening? There was a a little boy. He had a little saw and he went to cut a tree, a certain little boy. And he didn't have much strength. He didn't have the physical ability to cut down that tree with that little saw. But daily, he will go and cut a little bit. Are you listening? And he will go and cut a little bit. And he'll go down and cut a little bit. And many days it took. And he finally threw down that big tree with a little saw. You know what will take you and keep you going? Determination. Say determination. Yes, you think you go to school and, and everything like that and you didn't accomplish much. They are better children than you. Don't look at the better children. Look at you. And look that God has created you for a purpose. Are you listening? And you keep working hard at what God placed before you. Amen. Determination. Work your plan. Have a plan for your life. There will be obstacle. Let us turn to Ecclesiastes 11.4. Come on, everybody turn there. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 and verse 4 today in our Bible. Let us turn there. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 and verse 4. Let us find it, come on, let us find it. Let us find it, let us find it. Ecclesiastes, find it. In Psalm of Solomon. Ecclesiastes, Psalm of Solomon. Ecclesiastes, Psalm of Proverbs, Ecclesiastes. Alright, you find it, Anna? Psalm of Proverbs, then Ecclesiastes. Let us find it. I want you to under underline this verse. I want you to memorize this verse. Can you do that, church? Psalms 11, verse 4. There will be obstacle in this life whenever you go forward to achieve something. There were obstacle in Adam's life. There were obstacle in Noah's life. Look up here today. There were obstacle in David's life. There were obstacle in Jesus' life. And there will be obstacles to come your way. I understand. But you need not to give up or quit. Or allow the obstacle to stop you from achieving your goals and, and dreams in this life. Can I hear amen? amen. Ecclesiastes 11.4 say, He that absorbeth the wind shall not what? Sow. The word sow means to plant. Amen. And he that regarded the cloud shall not reap. What does this mean there? It means that if you see the wind 
on the cloud, boy, rain coming, I'm not going today in my garden. It's just a terminology that is used here. Boy, I'm not going to school because so and so. Boy, I'm not going to work today because so and so. Man, I'm not going to do this because people say I cannot do that. May I say today that people do not have the final word, but Jesus has the final word over your life. If you look at the obstacles in life, oh, I, I will not achieve that because I didn't have a good mother, I didn't have a good father, I did not came from a good background. You can achieve more than you desire to achieve if you go in the name of the Lord. Listen, folks, my daddy didn't give me a pin in this life. I listen in church. You know who gave me and show me the way, the Lord. When I just got saved, I didn't have anything. I was homeless. I listen in church. Now by the grace of I was homeless 23 years ago when I give myself to God. But let me tell you, by the grace of God, God has shown me how and teach me how to work hard. And how to pray hard and to achieve things in this life. I'm looking at some people this morning that you can become a business person. You can become filthy rich in life. If you work hard and trust God and pray hard. Are you listening? God wants us to work to achieve things in this life. Can I hear you? Amen. Don't sit down on your blessed assurance and, and depend on somebody. I remember when I was little, about seven, eight years old. I was seven, eight. I went and planted my first garden. You know what I went and planted? My mommy was cleaning the same. And I went and planted the same seed. And everybody say this thing would not grow, man. I, I just juke it in the ground and it grow. In a couple of days it busts out. And this thing lasts over a year. And some days, were, were, some days were very hard with us. And my mommy sell from that same vine. Our listening church. That motivate me to do more. I always planted something what about you today you know why I said that because in our country you cannot some of you cannot do much but at least that is the least you can do to help around are listening to the church Amen. now so there will be excuses why the slothful man the Bible says in Proverbs 26 13 the slothful man said, there is a lion in the way. A lion is in the streets. Oh, I'm afraid of the lion. I can't go out today. Oh, I'm afraid of this situation. If you have God, you have everything that you need. Can I hear amen, church? I want to share with us a promise. Psalms 1 to 8 and verse 2. Turn there. Psalms 1, chapter 1 to 8 and verse 2. We'll turn there. Then we'll say a little more. And then close out the service. Can somebody say amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Psalms 1 to 8 and verse 2. You find it? Say amen. The Bible says here, For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands, happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Our listening church, look up here today. You see, I grew up very poor, but I used to pray for the time which that I can work to get money. 
And God has blessed me to see that age that I work to go to the shop that I can buy something that I need. I listen. In. And I don't steal or covet what people have. We have a lot of youths in here today. What are you doing to contribute to your home? Some of you, your parents go out there, they labor in the rain and in the sun. All kind of insult they might hear out there and tantalization. And they come home and you don't know what they went through. And you don't even say, let you be a good testimony at home so you can win them to Jesus Christ so they wouldn't have to go to hell. They take care of you. Today some children are so disobedient and they curse their parents. I know, I know there are some bad parents that they don't care about their children. I didn't know what it meant to, to have a father love. I saw my father for the first time when I was 13 years old. And I spent about two years with him. And from 15 I started working again. But you know what? God has blessed my life. I never complain about it or regret it. Look at verse, uh, Psalms 128 and verse 2. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Listen, folks. Christian people ought to work to achieve things in this life. Can somebody say amen, church? Amen. 